Hello there. What the? What? Excuse me for one sec. Mmm. This is what? Alright, hello there. My name is Red Deer. Welcome to the channel and the stream that belongs to me, Red Deer. Uh, it's not supposed to be capturing me. OBS seems to think Video Tube is a game. Hold on. There we go. There it is. Cool, cool. Let me turn on this, the game audio so you can hear it too. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, let's go. We can help you grow, wink, wink. Dear sir slash madam, we couldn't help but notice your steady earnings and we would like to assist you with developing your potential even further. Your credit limit has been raised to $500,000. Feel free to draw from the available sum anytime at your local bank center. Respectfully, Sales Manager, Bank. To whom it may concern, we are looking for skilled drivers with their own trucks for a large number of deliveries. We offer competitive rates up to $8,700 for a job. Please, if you have your own vehicle, inquire directly at our dock in Fresno. Betterman, Fresno. Dear sir slash madam, we thought you might like to know that we offer favorable loans to new businesses. Do you need funding to get your business running? We are here to help. Please visit your local banking center for more information. Respectfully, Sales Manager Bank. Wow, okay, cool. A lot of people want to give me free money. The free money usually comes at a cost. Hmm, now. Ooh, we're gonna go to Prim. Fresno to Prim, Nevada. Nevada. Nobody says Nevada. So if you hear somebody say, It's Nevada. Say, actually, you're an idiot. It's Nevada. This is going to be a long haul, ladies and gents. Long haul. All right, folk. Let's take stock of what it is we are hauling. It looks like we are hauling sell goods. This here is a sleeper camp. Sleep camper. Peterbilt. I'm not a fan of these. Oh, it's got a bed in the back. That's wonderful. That's the horn. That's also the horn. It's windshield wipers. Lights. That we are a gentleman. I am a gentleman, and I shall start my engine. Nice, quiet, like. All right, ladies and gents. Let us. Hold on, let me mess around with the instrument cluster a little. Uh. I got 119 gallons. We can go 570 miles. All right, cool. Let us away. Well, that's loud. Uh oh. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. Cosmetic damage is the best kind of damage. Because it is ultimately meaningless if you don't care about cosmetics. 
I'll wait for this guy to go. And we're away. It is 7.02 in the morning on Tuesday. All right, so I didn't realize I had reached 50 subscribers a little while ago. I'm now at 53. I know it is a turn off for a lot of people whenever the streamer mentions their subscriber count because I know it's a turn off for me too, but I'm just, I can't help it. That's hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. I was just about to talk about uh, I got myself something to commemorate my uh, 50th, my uh, 50 subscribers. Hold on. I'm hearing something weird. It's like a, some kind of echo. There we go. No, that's not it. Hello, how are you? How are you? Yeah, I got myself something to commemorate my uh, 50 subscribers. It is a, I got myself a baseball jersey. What, it was like uh, $60. Very cheap for a baseball jersey. You good, you good, that's good, I'm good. I'm really good. We're hauling, having a good time. I'm not really sure what it is we're delivering, but we're on our way to Prim, Nevada from Fresno. It's gonna be a bit of a long drive. Hope you guys are, I hope you're ready. Yeah, it's a, oh, it's a, uh, I didn't really want to get an American baseball team jersey, because I'm not, uh, I'm not real happy with the guys I'm rooting for now, so I got a Hanshin Tigers jersey, they play in the Nippon Professional Bas uh, Baseball, that's a Japanese baseball league. I think it'll be the only baseball jersey I'll ever own. I'm not real. I'm not a big fan of the baseball jerseys. Oh look, it's the the police. Yeah, so far so good. So um, I have potentially bad news about my about The Sims 4. So I was deleting some mods because I had a lot of mods that I used on my own time for The Sims 4, I'm like playing catch and stuff like that. But um. I was deleting them to make some space on my uh, hard on my uh, hard drive, but I seem to have accidentally broken my save files. So I'm gonna see if I can if I can salvage my save files, but I think I may uh, have to st we may if I place The Sims 4, I might have to start fresh.
Yeah. But I'm sure everything's fine. Oofs. I'm always scared my Minecraft world is going to break when they have updates. Yeah, that's the thing. You just never really know. Go 54 and then hit cruise. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure everything's fine. I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to delete the game and reinstall it. Hopefully that fixes things. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted about it because I really do want to. I I'm on a simulator binge right now. I just want to play simulation games. And RPGs. Oh, uh, Fortnite had... Lego Fortnite had an update where you can build cars now. But they, they lock, lock Lego, Lego sets, sets like, like separate, separate Lego, Lego sets, sets behind paywalls. So it's all, all DLC, DLC basically, basically. Which I think is really stupid. So that should be in the base game. Very uncharacteristically greedy of them. But what can you do? Enjoy it while it lasts and start anew if it's gone as long as you're having fun. Playing starting over isn't a bad thing. No, you're you're right, you're right. I guess I can approach the channel I can approach the Miku storyline a different way then. If I have to reinstall fresh. just start out with like a log cabin somewhere give her a small loan of a million simoleons <laughs> and go from there Oh, we can have a new grumpy old guy, too. I'm hoping he won't invite some... Hopefully he won't invite some strange woman to live with us. Or live with them. Because let me tell you, that was weird. I've never had that interaction in Sims before. Look at him go! Look at that guy coming up in my rear view mirror. He's late. He was supposed to be in Vegas an hour ago. Look at him go. Bakersfield, San Luis Obispo. California 99. Oh, we're still in California. Field city limits. I've heard that there are that um, other drivers can get into accidents in this game. But I haven't seen it yet. California 99. California 99 is probably the most uneventful, boring highway in all of California. Because there's just nothing. Nothing to look at. Nothing but scenic routes. But it'll get to it'll get you where you're going fast. Ba -ba -ba. Do, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Do do. Uh, Bakersfield. You know, I've been to Bakersfield more than a handful of times. This place always smells like butt. It's, it smells like a, like cow. Cow grazing. Always smells like methane gas. It's called the armpit of the valley for a reason. I don't see how anybody could live here. It stinks. Literally stinks. All I can remember from Bakersfield is the smell. But the people there are really nice. Very nice. It's just that it stinks here. I guess once you get used to it, it doesn't really bother you. The GTA I had on PS2, I would stand in the road and make accidents happen so I could pick up the money from people dying in the cars and you don't get in trouble for it. Wow. Insurance fraud. To commit a sh insurance fraud. Guy's a little too close to for my liking. Get in this lane. <laughs> oh, there's a Peterbilt back there. That's good to know. Wow, there's a lot of traffic today. A lot of people want to leave Bakersfield. I remember in the Saints Row games, there was a whole mini game committing insurance fraud, where all you did was like, you would ragdoll into people, uh, into people as they drove pat drove on the road. So that was a very strange way of putting it. But yeah, you could just run into people and run into the cars and you would get you would rack up a whole lot of cash. Do do do. back in the desert. Definitely Nevada now. Ah, oh, fucking tumbleweeds. I hate tumbleweeds. Those things get everywhere. They roll around because they're really, really dry and they leave their seeds everywhere. And then tumbleweeds grow. And they're an invasive species too. They just roll around everywhere. And then when they collect, they get stuck. And they scratch the paint of your car if you try to run o run them over. Sometimes they get stuck underneath your car and you get overheating issues. Oh, and then there was also... I remember seeing a YouTube video where some of the tumbleweeds had been set on fire. And then a tornado was passing by and sucked up... Okay, it wasn't a tornado, it was a cyclone. Smaller. And it sucked up the flaming tumbleweeds. And it just started... It was like a tornado... It was like a spiral of fire. It's a tower of fire. It's like, what do you even do? This thing's spreading fire and tumbleweed seeds all over the goddamn place. Oh! I remember having to get rid of like a whole bunch of... There's a whole bunch of tumbleweeds that found their way in front of my house. I thought it was, you know, I'll just get rid of them. They were really heavy. And they're big. They barely fit in the recycling can. When you cut, even if you cut them up. And then they started like growing in the front yard like weeds. So we had to like pull them out. 
And they're very sharp and they'll cut right into your gloves. I used to think they didn't really exist and were just something made up to put in shows and games in an, to, in an empty desert. Oh no, they're real. They're very real. Sadly. I wish they were made up. But they primarily exist pretty much only in the desert. But those things, they go where the wind takes them. They roll around wherever the wind takes them. Until there's nothing left of them. They spread their, when they uh, dry up, they, print, they separate from their roots and then they just start rolling. And then they spread their seeds that way. Very sharp thistles almost like a rose very obnoxious very annoying things to deal with but yeah you'll pretty much will only see them in the west coast of the US they don't really exist anywhere else I'd say the drier parts of California, Nevada, and Arizona. Parts and parts of New Mexico as well. Oregon, it's too damp. It gets too wet for tumbleweeds to really survive. Because they tend to drown if they get too much moisture. I just totally cut in front of that bus. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, mate. Yeah, but usually um, when a tumbleweed is alive, they're somewhere out here. So most of these uh, green plants that you see out here, those are uh, moist, alive tumbleweeds. They have, uh, they have access to some kind of moisture. So they don't need to uproot themselves and roll away or tumble away. But when they dry up, they just roll away, usually due to overpopulation. Or because they had, they were uh, spite their vengeful spirits from a past life and they're looking for somebody to spite particularly a deer. They like messing with deer people. In particular. Is that why Pokemon made a ghost tumbleweed? Yes. We're in Barstow, California. Well, I need to get back in the left lane. I don't want to go to LA. Hey, how's it going? How's it going to you, Polly23? Hello, welcome. We're talking about... I'm talking about... Uh, oh, we're talking about tumbleweeds. How I fucking hate tumbleweeds. And I was also talking about how there was a, this video about a whole bunch of tumbleweeds. Very dry. At a, like some barn or some city in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, tumbleweeds are in Oklahoma. Anywhere where there's dry desert. No, it was in Oklahoma. I think it was in Arizona can't remember where it was well anyway they uh, they were on fire and so a cyclone came on by whoa great oh 
Okay, so there are accidents. Whoa, how did he fuck up? Okay, accidents do. Whoa, accidents do happen. <laughs> accidents do happen in this game. Cool. Barstow, California. Uh, tumbleweeds caught on fire, then they got sucked into a cyclone. And so there was just like this tower of fire. Spinning. Spinning out of control tumbleweeds. And you just look at it and you're like, what do you do? What do you do? Look, hot air balloon. So we started our trip from Fresno and we're on our way to Prim, Nevada. Oh, I also bought myself a, uh, a Japanese baseball jersey to uh, commemorate uh, 50 subs to the channel. Apparently that happened a little while ago. But I, I, I don't make a habit of looking at my sub count. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Is there a name for a fire tornado? I know there are dust devils. I never thought of a fire. I think it was the dust devil that turned into like a cyclone and it sucked in flaming tumbleweeds. Because the tumbleweed, I think the tumbleweeds were already on fire. Or maybe what happened was when they sucked in the tumbleweeds, it all something like sparked a fire inside of the tornado or the cyclone or whatever and then it started like some kind of fire pillar thing I'm gonna call it a tower a pillar of fire that's how that they usually look in RPGs it's like some kind of flamey cyclone thing I've heard fire devil fire nato firestorm pyrogenetic tornadoes lots of names mm, I think any of those will do so we got like a fire devil, I would say. Yeah, having to deal with tumbleweeds is a very uh, it's a pain in the neck. A couple of them found their way in front of my house and they were very heavy. Cause they were big things and I had to cut them up and put them in my recycling bin. But then they laid seeds Heidi ho hello Rudy hello hello welcome we were talking about tumbleweeds and my hatred for tumbleweeds and having to deal with them and cut them up because they're very dry very sharp and they cut into your glove your uh, gloves because I only have gardening gloves and they cut right into them luckily I didn't get hurt I don't think it's been a while and then they uh they laid their seeds, and then I noticed the tumbleweeds were starting to grow in the front front of my house. And had to pull them out. Thank Russia for tumbleweeds. I didn't know that. I didn't know they were from Russia. Holy shit. There's just too much Russian involvement in the United States, don't you think? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not brave enough for politics. I'm, I'm going to stop right there. I've seen images about tumbleweed cover up all over a house. Hello, 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 Rudy, hello. Oh yeah. Tumbleweeds can get, can just start piling on each other when they're uprooted from wherever they're from. We saw some in the, just rolling by on the freeway here. Too much Russian involvement in the world. We should outlaw its existence. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're not wrong. 
Now, just to be clear, we are not banning Russian people. It's uh, Russian, you know, everything else. Except for Porch, or Borch. That sounds good. Or Pepper Cash, wherever that's from. No, Pepper Cash, Pepper Cash is from uh, Ukraine, isn't it? I don't know. At least aside from their harm, Tumbleweed make a good, very good cinematic scenes with their cowboy whistle. To quote Reagan, we begin bombing in five minutes. <laughs> good old Reagan. Perhaps those bombs will trickle down any minute now. All right, that's enough. I'm afraid. I uh, I'm afraid of politics. <laughs> People are very uh, defensive and hostile toward the idea of Reagan. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really care. It's funny. But yeah, okay. There's just so much sand. And tumbleweeds out here. There's nothing out here. This is, I think this is the, Cal this is California 99. Maybe I got off 99 a little while ago. CHP. CHP is right here. Oh, wait, no, I'm in Nevada now. Because we're in Prim. Yeah, that place from Las Vegas is uh, from uh, Fallout New Vegas is real. Or uh, they liked Prim so much they made it real. Prim. There's some kind of vine thingy around here that will be all over my power lines and trees and they kill the trees. My mom said that it's something from China or Japan, but I don't know what it is. Damn, I knew New Vegas was popular, but they made a real Vegas? Yeah, they made a real Vegas. And a real Prim. Oh, you know Smoking Pete? The guy with the dynamite? He's a real dude. He's still alive. Yeah, they worked together with some scientists and they genetically engineered a man who was strangely obsessed with uh, dynamite. I didn't know they had that in the budget. That's really cool. All right, we made it. Yeah. Uh, let's play it safe. She always says anything weird or looking or strange is from over there. Mm -mm. Not everything strange is from China. There are some pretty strange things here in the United States. She should learn to recognize when things are when uh, some strange things are proud Americans. Just like you and me. Oh, T. Nice. Woo! Fireworks delivered. Oh, it was fi fireworks. Nice. Yeah, we have Karens after all. Yeah, they have. 
There are Karens everywhere. Fragile Cargo. Let's go. Nice, yeah, nice. Fragile. That's Spanish for fragile. So I got 32,000. Not quite enough to buy a, a truck. Alright, Stockton to Barstow. Stockton to Barstow. Bakersfield to Carson City. That's a long drive. Oh, Kim's. We're gonna be delivering it. We're delivering dynamite. From Bakersfield to Carson City. Sacramento to Heron. Huron. Hoorah! California. Harvester. Alright, boom lift. 35,000 pounds. Rail export. Oh, they're finally going to build that bullet train that they've been talking about for the last 20 years. Right? I don't really know. I'm not too privy to California politics. Or what it is they're doing over there. Bakersfield Barstow. Uh, bullet train. Sounds American to me. It is American. Yeah, they have uh, three of them in Japan. And zero of them in the United States. The California has been wanting to build one for a while now. But something keeps getting... Something keeps stopping it. I rode one when I was in Japan a few years ago. Yeah, Japan has a couple of bullet trains now. Really cool. I've always wanted to ride one, just any train in Japan. And then like, um, I also wanted to ride on a sleeper train. One where they have like beds and stuff. That you can sleep overnight. So these two are the same. Except this one, just pays more and what the boom lift is 35,000 pounds so we're gonna do stock in the bar stocked in the bar still showed her my favorite animal the tough deer and she said it probably looks like that because they do experiments on animals but they just have tusks from evolution yeah and then another thing I wanted to ri I want to ride in Japan is a ferry I want to go on a ferry. Like one of those boats. Oh, and then the, the tough deer. Yeah. That's the funny thing about evolution. Uh, anything that does not hinder the animal's ability to um, reproduce, it pretty much gets to stay. It's kind of like the Komodo dragon. How it's, it's like, it's got all these shield. It looks like an armadillo. All these scales and stuff. It's like, it that never hurt its ability to reproduce. It doesn't really have any natural predators, as far as I'm aware. It just kind of looks like that. The only time I really rode a train is when I went to a vacation to another district and it took eight hours. Whoa. Was it a sleeper train? Did you get to go to sleep? Or did you have to sit? Did you have to bring your own food? Because I know that, uh, I've been watching some travel videos in Jap from Japan. And then some bullet trains that are, that are overnight, they have places there that you can buy food before you get on the train. But then they also make stops to places so that you can go get food, go to the bathroom and all that fun stuff. If you don't want to use the bathroom on the train. Oh, I like this. Look how small mouse deer are. 
cool. They grow tusks too. But tough deer are cuter to me. They are doggo size and I need one. Yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, deer are a little nesty. I don't know if you've ever seen a, like a animal deer, not human, like not man deer, like me. I'm talking like a wild deer. They uh, poop little pellets everywhere, kind of like rabbits. They also can't really, their hooves are very smooth, so they can't really walk around that well outside of the forest. That's why whenever you see videos of them going, like running into stores, they're slipping and sliding all the all over the place. Because they don't have any traction. You'd have to give them like little shoes. That'd be pretty cute. Small deer with little shoes. Look at these people. They're so miserable looking. They look like the NPCs in EA Sports games. Like the audience members. I don't live in a town or city, so just the road is the problem. Need a fence? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, if you knew what you were doing, you could take care of anything. And deer are generally very calm by in nature. They're just very uh, jumpy from time to time. I just hope you don't have any gardens. I think Mudjack, Mudjack is also a doggo-sized deer, but has scarier looks and with fangs. Oh man, all these things. All these deer look really cool. Me, I just got some regular old antlers and ginger hair. That's about it. Oops. How did that happen? Yeah, there's no reason to honk at a truck driver. Unless you're an asshole. Yeah, I don't have any fangs. Or tusks. Kind of look more like a reindeer, really. I think, uh, a deer that would be strapped to Santa Claus's sleigh. Is that a Tesla? Gross. Is that a Subaru? WRX? Gross. That or whatever it is. And the car before it was that a Ford Explorer? Disgusting.
The only real cars on the freeway are trucks. Big rigs, like ours. This guy gets it. Vitus power. go a little over the limit. Oh. Thank goodness for uh, cruise control. That's a Mustang. Gross. Oh. That's a Land Rover. Or is it Range Rover? That's a British car. Gross. Alright, that's enough. All cars are gross. Only big rigs are acceptable. What happens to an F-150 if it collides with a Peterbilt? It folds in half. Maximum destruction. I told you this freeway's boring. It's just nothing but road through the countryside. Oh, and then over there, that's a common sight on California 99. They're always fixing something. They always take forever to do it. They always close the wrong lanes. I wonder if the smaller deer grow tusks because antlers would be too heavy for them to be useful. That's a good, that's a good question. I mean, that is an excellent observation. Tusks would be a lot more useful to smaller deer because antlers usually rely on uh, strength, uh, neck strength in relation to the body. But then if you're smaller, you would have leverage since you're center of gravity is lower to the, is closer to the ground so it would really depend on where those deers were where those deer were I wonder how long does the average trucker spend on the road I'd say on average probably four hours but then there's the long haulers like what we're doing today so it's about eight nine hours one way. Luckily, the game doesn't make you go back to your HQ. Because then you'd be on the road all day. I think this is a sleeper. Yeah, that's a bed back there. Yeah, that's a bed. I do know eventually we're going to be able to drive for a very long distances and we're gonna the game's gonna make us have to stop to sleep.
There's nothing worse than driving half asleep. Or when you're dozing off. As I remember, we would take very long trips. And then we would take the long trip back. And we would not stop at a hotel. I understood that it was to save money, but I remember my dad would like start to nod off or fall asleep during the trip while he was driving. Just looking back at it, I didn't realize just how much danger we were being we were putting ourselves in. It was just absolutely outrageous. Just to save some money. It's very scary. Very scary. We would take trips down to We would, we would be on the road for like eight hours during the day. We'd go to where we needed to go. Most of the time it was Six Flags. And then we would be there all day walking, all day long in the hot sun. And then we would drive all the way back for eight hours. No sleep. And it was fine when my dad was younger because he used to do that all the time but then uh, as he got older he couldn't really do it anymore he would start nodding off but we would always make it home safely but yeah no it's just not something I it's not something I ever want to do again unless we were staying at a hotel and then leaving the the day after We would leave in the middle of the night to avoid traffic and get there faster, but the passenger would always have to make sure the driver stayed awake as well. If only I could drive a car would take over when my dad was tired. Well, that was the thing. My mom could very easily take over, but she never did. She would prefer to sleep. And then, uh, I didn't, when we would used to do it, I didn't even have my permit or my brother. But uh, the, the last time we had a trip like that, all of the, uh, my mom wasn't with us cause she didn't want to go. But, uh, my brother and my, and my, myself, we both could drive. So we would very happily take over if my dad was feeling tired, but we haven't been on a long trip like that in a while. Since, you know, we all, we all work and that makes planning long distance trips difficult. Pretty much only like, uh, three hour trips on the weekends, on our days off. That's about it. We can't really do anything else. Not that we would want to these days. Oops. My mom wouldn't sleep, but she was scared of driving on more populated roads than our country ones were used to. She was used to. Yeah, I get that. It can be pretty nerve- oh. It can be pretty nerve-wracking driving on populated roads. I look, I look both ways before crossing a one-way street. That's how little I trust people. I know that was just a joke line said by Jack Nicholson in a movie, but that's, that's true. I do that.
And sometimes uh, when I'm watching t when I'm watching like movies with my brother, and then sometimes he'll put on YouTube videos of people getting into accidents. Like, dude, you drive an hour and a half every day. You drive like an hour every day to go to work, to commute to work. Why the hell are you watching these things? Talking about being sleepy on the road, I once had a very tiring motorcycle ride and slowly turn off road until someone yelled at me, are you drunk? <laughs> it makes me fresh. Uh, that would wake you up. It'll get you frosty real quick. I love watching videos of trucks hitting low bridges. That's Yeah, that's very scary. But yeah, that's just the... Uh, what, what's the name of that one bridge? It has its whole... Its own website dedicated to it. Like the top of the container they're carrying out the cab and goes... Grrr! That's really funny. So, you know, just a little off the top. They didn't need the top. And they're told, hey, don't stay there. Don't go there. The drivers are always fine. Top of the container just gets sheared off. You go, crrrk. Boop. Stop. Why did it stop? That was weird. I'm at the mercy of this dude. Car zone. <laughs> Car zone. Legally distinct auto zone. I wonder if they have an advanced car parts. But yeah, if you're driving and then a bit of your, the butt of the cabin, I mean a bit of the cab gets sheared, the container gets sheared off, that's going to wake you up. That's going to make you a lot more aware from the then on about where you're going and where you're driving. I bet you drivers only make that mistake once. Leaving Bakersfield? Thank God. Mm. I don't really know what it is I'm hauling. It just looks like some kind of crane thing. Have you noticed how they don't make brown cars anymore? Unless it's really old. Oh, look at that. Never mind. It's a brown car. I guess they still make them. Almost time to turn on the lights. Damn tumbleweeds. Oops. Uh. Oh, it's out. I guess, I guess it's not time yet. Is, 
that, that not the button? button. Oh. Nope. Nope. There we go. There we go. I don't know why anyone would want a white car. It would get dirty and be noticeable. Just get a brown one instead. Well, that's just it. Um, they don't make brown cars that often. And I really don't know why people buy white cars. They're very ugly. Well, at least that's me. Someone in my same with houses. Someone in my neighborhood growing up had a white house and it turned yellow around springtime. Ew. Wait, what? What do you mean headlight usage offense? Oh, okay. I only had my brake lights out. My brake lights on. There we go. Now my headlights are on. I'm past this guy. Excessive speeding, I don't care. Red is most popular, but my favorite colors are purple and blue. I have only ever seen two purple cars ever. I don't think very many, uh, not very many companies make purple cars. I want 70, that's too fast. It's gonna coast for a bit. Red is the most popular, but that's also the one that police officers look at the most. Since people with red cars usually do stupid things more often. Or at least that's what I've been told. I've never really seen a red car do stupid things. It's always a blue car. It's usually a Subaru. I remember reading about how some insurance companies will charge you more for a red car. Wonder why. Oops. Oh, construction. Sorry, I had to. Hmm. So I guess it really is that people who buy red cars usually do reckless or more reckless driving. You can always have them painted and wrapped a different color though. Mmm, that's true. Very true. I don't know how much that would cost. Some people don't go through the trouble. But a lot of people do. A lot of people do go through the trouble. So that's not a very, uh, not a very good tactic, insurance companies. I wonder what city this is called. Nice little city in, out in the west somewhere. LA, right lane. Oh, we've already been here. Back to Barstow, I suppose. You're running out of fuel. You should find a filling station. 
damn it. I just passed one too. All right, good. We're gonna have to get off the freeway here. How many deer are around here and people are hitting them all the time? You probably need to save money for repair, not color. That's a good point. Well, there's a helicopter. Someone really fucked up. spaces available yeah I guess insurance companies don't like it when you run into a deer they usually leave a bit of damage when you smack into them uh oh e Press and hold the following key to fill the tank. Enter. Yeah, I don't have to pay for it. Good lord, look at the price. Five bucks, eleven cents. Navigation. There we go. Full expenses are covered by your employer. Oh, cool. I had to go over here anyway. I didn't have to buy gas. Mm hmm. <laughs> Raise hamburgers. Oops. Oh well. There was nobody there. No reason to stop at that light anyway. Cash for cars. Can I sell this one? No reason to stop at the light. We live in a society of laws and rules, Red. But what if the rules don't make any sense? Like if there's nobody, there's nobody to stop, nobody else at that light, there's no reason to stop at it. And bitch to the legislature, I write to my representative regularly. Oh, so that's what I've been hauling. This is how deer gets hit by. This is how deer get his by car get hit by cars. They're always trying to cross the highway instead of taking the sidewalk. You know, you. I think you might have a good point. It's like I, it's right there. Why should I walk all the way down the street? Fuck it. I don't want to do that. 
Ooh. Yeah. Despite all my success, I still cannot afford a truck. Carson City to Oakland. Ooh. Ooh, Las Vegas to Yuma. No, Arizona. Arizona. I don't want to go to Arizona. There's nothing to do in Arizona. Carson City, Oakland. 4.24 p.m. to 11 p.m. $53.83 $53 a mile. That's good money. Let's do it. Switch my legs. Oh, darkness. Need some water. <clears throat> All right. First, we start our engines. Now, we find the headlight button. Hello, Hello darkness, darkness, my old friend. High beams are button there. All right. Oh, I like the sound of this horn. It sounds like a freight train. I guess that makes sense. This company's called Frightliner. like somebody scored a goal. All right, let's go. It's early in the morning. Oh, it even comes with a, wa a warning indicator. Well, that's really cool. Maybe a differential lock could help you if you can't start, if you can't move. No, I'm good. Yeah, Frightliner. These trucks are pretty cool, except for the side view mirror. Can't see shit past it, but hey, you know, that's okay. Common problem in modern cars. basically have to break your neck to see through them. I keep forgetting about the... Ah! Yeah, it doesn't help. Hold on, I'll straighten out eventually. I want to break free. There we go. Oh, Prius driver. Gotta make this turn extra wide. Trailer damage, 2%. 
It'll be fine. Wait, did I break a headlight? What's going on here? No. No, I did not. That's weird. Very, very weird. 71 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a very warm. Very warm night. Or very warm morning. Easily going to be 100 degrees later. At least that's what they taught me in my geoscience class in college. It was a GE requirement. Come on, let's go. There we go. I don't know how to use my blinkers. Let's go to a densely populated neighborhood and drive 100 miles an hour. like I hit the button too many times. <laughs> hmm. Drive for combined transport. Or whatever the hell it said. Do -do. Was that a wiener schnitzel? Yummy. Reno. Someone got pulled over for possessing something and not sharing. Uh-oh. <laughs> that would have been bad. No, the freeway system is basically designed in such a way that if you make a mistake, or if you miss an exit, it's fine. You can just get back on somewhere else. Oh, I almost did it again.
Imagine there's a running deer on the road. Boom! What was that? Drive trucks IRL. Why would I want to do that? I'll just stay in my house. It's a lot more safe. Fewer deer on the road. I guess they don't even bother with uh, lights out here either. What about someone missing their exit and there wasn't another exit before the border and they had problems getting back in the US? Holy shit, who designed the highway? Who designed that part of the freeway? That's what happens when you miss your exit. Echo Sacramento. Uh, not to be confused with regular Sacramento, I guess. Oh, wait, no, I don't need that. I need this exit. Shit. Talk about abrupt. 25. I hate highways that do this. Jesus Christ. Ugh. All right, we're good, we're good. Almost slipped off, but we're good. Start your career. I don't know if I could do long hauling in real life. It seems very stressful being on the road so often. Dude, what are you doing? You want this lane or not? Look at him whip all over the place. I think he's drunk. I-80. Interstate 80. Speed limit's 80? Did you see back there it said 80? I'm not crazy. Is that a mistake? I think that was a mistake. No way they let trucks like this drive 80 on the highway. No way. Who's honking?
Is this guy honking? It doesn't matter now. The word highway always makes me think of that one song called Highway Man. Then it gets stuck in my head. My dad liked Johnny Cash and would play his music a lot. Mmm. The classics. Wait, what? Man, that really killed my momentum. Speeding violation, I think it said. Do I have to go to the scales? Please pull in for a vehicle inspection at the nearest way scale. Great. All vehicles stop half a mile. Please prepare to slow down. Fine. Wait here until scale clear. Release brakes while on scale. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would listen to a lot of different songs. My dad usually listens to Tears for Fears. Sometimes Paul McCartney. Particularly Wings. Mostly. Complain about how trucks get, get to go fast. And then complain about someone telling trucks to slow down. Yeah. Vehicle gross weight, 57,446. Thank you for cooperation. Have, your, have a safe journey. Thank you. Yeah. So I have a, I've got a problem with people telling me what to do. Like, I'm a law-abiding citizen. Why is it that all of a sudden you're telling me I can and cannot do things? Hmm? Why I gotta slow down? Why I gotta go through this thing? What is this thing? Why do I have to go this way? Why can't I go over there where there are fewer cars? How do I work this? Where does that highway go to? Where is that beautiful house? Do I have to go through this? Agricultural inspection. Inspection finished. You may continue driving. Thank you. What the hell was that? Oh, making sure I don't have any drugs. Is that it? Is it because I'm a deer? No. No. Just regular old inspections. Making sure that the truck isn't damaged or any way like that. Making sure the cargo is in the safe. I mean, is uh, the cargo is nice and secure and safe. Not only that, but I, that I'm actually hauling what I'm saying I'm hauling. And to verify the results of the 
the weight scale. That's what I choose to believe is that it's all about anyway. I'm going too fast. Don't want another speeding ticket. That would not be a good thing. Central Trunky, Donner Lake. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I think the next trip I'm gonna take a shorter. It's gonna be a shorter journey. I need a break from all this long hauling. So I am sticking my head out the window. Cool. I've got plenty of gas. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. We're good. We're good. What does that say? Bridge, maybe. That's not what that said. Right lane ends. That's, that sucks. I don't want it to end. I wanted to keep going. I'm all right. Speed up a little. Fifty six. When does the sun come up? Oh, it's 318 in game. Got another two hours at least. I can legally go 10 above the limit. I was going less than 10 above the limit. Steep downgrade, reduce speed when wet. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty dry right now. Rock slide area. Squiggly line on a car with squiggly lines coming out of the tires. A truck driving downhill. We should be fine. Los Angeles, Reading, Junction, one mile. Reading, next right.
Sacramento city limits. All these signs with Los Angeles on them, even though we're like 500 miles away from it at this point, makes it seem like LA is really close to Sacramento. But it's not. No, it is not. El Camino. I have to see. But it won't come out. Here it comes. <coughs> Ugh. Excuse me. You know I hate sneezing when I'm driving. Because you have to shut, to shut your eyes. <coughs> and in that split second you can miss something important. I don't like that. Staying on. Never mind. Never mind. I almost got off the wrong exit. Right lane ends. I need to look at my mirrors more often. Just a little bit longer. Bad driver never misses their exit. It's true. They'll like stop in the middle of the road and then turn around on the freeway. It's no violation for using your horn. Chat, what bridge is this? This looks like the Bay Bridge. We're in Oakland. Yep. Oakland. I'm not slowing down for that car. All right, we're almost there.
Sometimes you will see truckers beep their horn at girls just walking, minding their own business. I've always thought that was a very creepy thing to do. Yeah, that is an extremely... That is a very disturbing, creepy thing to do. It's like, hey there, girls! Nice pants! <laughs> it's like cat calling, but with a truck. Oh, absolutely. That is absolutely not okay. Nope. Now, honking at cats. So they get out of the road so you don't crush them. I think that needs to be normalized. Do I want this exit? I think I want that exit. <laughs> Hold on, I need to turn on my lights now. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> I didn't expect that to go so smoothly. I got my high beams on. There we go. Oakland. Home of the Oakland Athletics. At least for now. Yeah, they lost the Warriors and the Raiders. Now they're losing the Athletics. It's a darn shame. People of Oakland deserve better than whatever the hell is going on over there. That's about the extent of my knowledge, unfortunately. What? Oh, yeah. I'm kind of running into the railing there. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't get any ideas, hippie boy. I'm in a hurry. Yeah. <sighs> All right, let me stand up for a bit.
Nice and cool. Long distance delivery bonus. High value. Unlock 3% higher reward for finishing an important delivery. Yeah. Well, how about we tra start transporting flammable gas? I only drink water when I have no other choice. Dude, you need more water. From now on, you can purchase your own trailers and upgrade or paint them to match your truck. Your trailers can be stored in your chosen garages. They can be used by your drivers to increase profits. To manage your trailers, use the trailer manager. Trailer purchase. Dry van. General dry goods. That's too expensive. I'd rather own my own truck. Almost there. Peterbilt. Driver's plate, standard plate. Bunch of stuff I'm never gonna see. Oh! Exhaust single. I'm not gonna buy my own trailer. No more. Oh, we got fragile goods. No more long hauling, please. Oakland to Reading. Okay, I can do that. Okay, this one's dynamite. Oakland to Reading. Transporting dynamite. Articulated trailer. Standard delivery. Hazard class 1. High value cargo. Forklifts. Cars! High value cargo. Alright, we need to break into Arizona eventually. How about this one? Vegas to Flagstaff, Arizona. Fred Gile. Standard. I know. Heavy. Alright, let's do this one. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma DLC. Oh my god, Oklahoma. I have to spend like $500 to get the whole country for TLC. Absolutely outrageous. Oh, it's very quiet. Oh, 
Okay. Some trucks you have to push that button. Turn on high beams. Others, not so much. Alright, cool. Cruise control, gauges, oil temp, water temperature, all normal. 100 miles per gallon. Alright, cool. Getting myself familiar with the truck. We are parked up against the wall. Don't know why we did that, but we're on our way. It's a Volvo dealership across the street. Very cool. Oh, we're delivering cars. These aren't cars. Those are trucks. the same mistake. Settle west. Valley view, boulevard. All right, away we go once again. I really like baseball. Glad baseball's coming back. Wait, what? I'm not using headlights. What are they talking about? Oh, wait, what am I doing? I just go. It's really hard to see in this truck. Can I fix it? Maybe it's a glitch? Oh, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't have my lights on. Come on. They skipped us. Salt Lake. Now. Uh oh. 
Headlight? What the fuck? I'm not using my headlight. I'm not using them. Are they supposed to be on? Is that what's going on? What the frick? Stop smiling. Stop it. No, stop it, you. I can't not smile. It's my thing. Tropicana. Mm, Tropicana. This is where they want to build the new A Stadium in Vegas. Ooh, this thing really can go 80 miles an hour. trail maybe when you go in shade areas it's reading it as being night or something that's dumb well I got my lights on now maybe I'm supposed to have them on Ooh. that was his fault not mine Zooming. 94 miles, 95 miles. Excuse me, sirs. <clears throat> oh, I'm going f fast. Should probably slip. This is a good speed, I think. Mm, hold on. No, I'm good. I'll go a couple more minutes. truck goes faster than you are, you're going too slow on the freeway. Trucks are supposed to be the slowest. Supposed to be. Not all truck drivers go 95 miles per hour like I was just now. Please tell me I don't have to stop at the scales. Damn it. Arizona license plate.
Nope. nope. Hey, he didn't stop at the scale. Wow. Woo! Woo! I passed! Hear that? Kingman, Arizona. Junction. I-40, 93. Uh-oh. Holy shit. anyway, so I need to be in this lane. Flagstaff, Phoenix, left lane. Yeah, we're headed to Flagstaff, Arizona. Brakes are too good. I guess that's not that's a good problem to have. Brakes that are too good. Sorry, CHP is right there. All right, now I can do that. Divine Avenue. Yeah, I have my headlights on. And I'm not incurring any penalties. So I, I, for some reason, I'm supposed to have them on. Which makes no sense at all. most happy cattle. Oh. It's like a video game.
place to there's a whole place to sit down back there. It's all table and everything, look. It's pretty cool. change lanes too quickly. General Mills. Clever, clever, clever. Well, it's 93 degrees out here. Well, yeah, we're in the desert. No magic, just science. Sounds boring. Safety is no accident. Well, yeah, that's how that's how that works. Please go in heckin' fast. <coughs> Sounds like a pod racer in here. these guys are going. Drink, drive, lose. Jackass. Check engine. Oh, there's damage. 
to the truck. Rip Bozo. <laughs> Rip Bozo. Ooh, visit service. No, we're almost there. That's fine. Oh, I think the... Um, I think the air filter's taking a hit. Yeah, I stopped. We're good, we're good, we're almost there. The engine is starting to whine a little bit though. Flagstaff, Arizona. I think that might have hit the... No, engine temperatures are fine. Oil temperature is dropping. Radiator fluid is fine. Our engine temperatures are fine. Tire, Tire pressure is fine. fine. Everything's fine. fine. But yeah, that did... I hit, I hit that, that guy, guy pretty hard. hard. We're, We're going at least 60, and then he cut in front of me. That was a really stupid thing to do. You should never assume a truck driver is going to stop for you. You're going to get yourself killed. That Jeep driver got it. it was, that guy was killed. Yeah, it's great. Where am I going? This will be our last delivery for today. Thank you all. Stopping by. Always appreciate it. I always appreciate it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trucks can't stop fast, especially when they're heavy. Especially. Yay, we did it. Yeah, it takes them like a, it takes them a long distance to stop properly. Uh, damage penalty. Well, it's a good thing I'm a good driver. Oh, they took my, it basically took my bonus. That, that Jeep, that bozo in the Jeep. That bozo in the Jeep cost me my bonuses. Dude. And then that bug with the headlight thing. It's like telling a train to stop fast. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Feel it coming. Save. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll have a good day. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day as well. Yes, yes, yes. And then, um... Yeah. See you guys Friday night. I'm gonna play Prison Architect. And then I'm gonna keep looking into the... I'm gonna keep looking into the Sims 4 save files. I'm gonna reinstall it and see what happens. Hopefully I didn't lose anything, but if I did, oh, that would suck. That would really suck, but I'd be more than willing to start over. And uh, yeah, we'll just ro keep rolling with the punches. Until then, I'll see you guys. Thank you for coming. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.